Hey there, Tracy the Sleep Coach here. I'm going to answer a really, really common sleep hygiene question. Uh, the question that was sent in to me was essentially, do I really have to cut out all caffeine and all sugar uh, in order to be able to sleep well? And this is not medical advice, this is not healthcare advice, this is just my particular view on it. Uh, it is not necessary to do those things. <laughs> um, for some people, taking them, their morning coffee away from them is going to strip the joy out of their life, right? I'm one of these people. I think worrying about the cup of coffee is more likely to create sleeping difficulties than the actual cup of coffee itself. Now, will having a cup of coffee later in the day impact your sleep? It's much more likely. Um, having a cup of coffee before you go to bed, if you're not used to doing that, and there are some places, some cultures where this is a common thing to do, you have coffee after dinner, um, they are used to it, so it doesn't affect them. If you're not used to it and you have a cup of coffee uh, randomly one evening after dinner, it's very likely going to keep you awake because your body is not used to having caffeine in your system at that time of day. So the caffeine um, that people are concerned about is tends to be caffeine later in the day, and it's not just coffee. Lots of foods have caffeine in them as well. Um, I still posit that it is worrying about the coffee that is more likely, the morning coffee in particular, is more likely to affect your sleep than the actual caffeine it's, itself, provided that you have this caffeine early in the day. One of the things that happens when um, people embark upon the mission of improving their sleep is that they, they want to follow all of the advice and they think the harder they follow it and the more strict they are, the more this is going to help their sleep. Now, Caffeine can keep you awake, but caffeine doesn't create insomnia. Insomnia is self-perpetuating sleeplessness. So although I'm definitely not recommending having caffeine uh, late in the day, particularly if you have insomnia, but even if you don't, um, it is the perpetuating factor in this particular scenario, worrying about the morning cup of coffee, um, is the, the worry is the thing that creates the sleeping trouble rather than the morning um, cup of coffee. It's really, really important to have things in your life that you enjoy. Um, if you enjoy your morning cup of coffee, like I do, I wouldn't worry about it. If you have suddenly decided that you enjoy an evening cup of coffee, that's probably different because there's going to be that physiological effect of the caffeine that is um, potentially interfering with your sleep. Um, but again, the caffeine will be causing sleeplessness. The response to the sleeplessness is what creates the insomnia. So following all these rules really, really strictly and cutting all of these things out of your life actually sets up a situation where you are fearful to do things because of their impact on your sleep. You, um, you take the frame of your life um, and you take all of the things that you like out of it because, you know, if you stay up late, you might miss your like ideal time to go to sleep and you take out your friends and you take out your morning coffee. Um, and you also, you conversely, start doing things and putting things in, all of them focused on the impact on sleep that is going to create problems for your sleep. So in a nutshell, on the question of coffee in the morning, if you enjoy your coffee in the morning and you're a normal metabolizer, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I would avoid caffeine, um, including coffee, dark chocolate, etc., later in the day because it's more likely to have a physiological effect. But I just wouldn't worry about the morning cup of coffee. Um, the worry about it is going to create more problems than cutting out the coffee is going to benefit you. So if you have any questions at all, you want my viewpoint on things, again, I don't give personalized healthcare advice, this is not, not medical advice, it's just me talking about sleep and insomnia, uh, feel free to uh, send me a message either through YouTube, drop it in the comments, or email me at tracy at tracytheSleepCoach.co.uk.